Hello! It's finally my Ulta haul video. I only did this Ulta haul uh, last weekend and said I was going to do a video on it, but then I never did because it's just been a really hectic week trying to get back from this vacation. Um, but I'm going to do this really quick um, before I clean all my makeup off and go to bed because I am freaking exhausted. So here's what I got from Ulta. We literally, this is my first time ever going into Ulta. It was in Houston. Um, I went to go visit my godmother. Love you, Joni. And she was kind enough to take me out and about when we went to Ulta. I have never been in it. Like I said, we spent, I warned her ahead of time, we're going to spend a lot of time in there. We spent three hours in Ulta. I could not stop. I was like, it was like heaven for me. I can't. And then I just found out that there's one in Monroe, which is about an hour from us in Louisiana. And so I am definitely going to be going there around Christmas time because I told my husband that if he let me buy all this stuff I wanted to, that I will not buy any more makeup until Christmas. Granted, I have a few things coming in the mail still, but that doesn't count. So here's what I eventually settled on in Ulta. I had a $200 limit and I hit it like 180 something, so I stayed under the limit. We were good. Okay. I, um, there was an Anastasia of uh, Beverly Hills, um, worker there, and I really, really wanted to try the, um, the brow whiz, and so I had her do my eyebrows, and she did the brow whiz in color dark brown, and it's got the spoolie on one end, which everybody and their mama knows, and then the pencil on the other end, and I really like this pencil a lot, um, it's kind of, it's got a little bit of a reddish tint to it, though, and my eyebrows are almost black. They're so dark, they're almost black, and that reddish tint kind of throws me. I like it for the most part. Um, there are some days, though, like today, I just wasn't feeling it, um, so I just used my e.l.f. one, which I love this e.l.f. one. Um, it's kind of crazy, because this is like 20-something dollars. This was like three dollars so hmm you know I really like this one though so I'm trying to get myself used to this because I spent that money on it so I really want to get my money's worth out of it but she used this and then she used the um the clear brow gel which is just a nice little mascara like wand and it's clear and um to put my eyebrows in place and I really liked this so I got these two and then because I got these two um she gave me the free gift of the um Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Primer and Color Corrector, and it's just this nice little pencil. And she used this to uh, shape out my eye underneath my eyebrows and around it where I had little um, stubbly hairs growing through. And then she said it also works really good as a shadow base. I haven't used it as a shadow base yet, but I am going to try it. Um, so I got these three things of uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. What? I love it. Can I, can I do one? No, let mommy do this and then I'll let you do one, okay? Because I said so, little Miss Hiccups. All right, go back and play in Bubba's room. I didn't want to watch you. Okay, well, you got to be quiet. I will. Okay, Miss Hiccups. Okay, so these are my Anastasia of Beverly Hills things I got. Um, I got, let's see, what else was? I got the um, Benefit had a, a free gift. I looked up online of all the buy one, get one, half off deals and all of the... Um, stop and all of the free gifts with purchases so that I could know which ones I wanted so I've been really wanting this um, benefit roller lash mascara I've just heard such great things about it um, so I really wanted to try it and then that's what the wand looks like it's got that curve to it and I've used it a few times so far and what's today Thursday I used it I used it Monday and Tuesday and I I, don't, I think I used it today. I'm not sure. I honestly can't remember. It was a bit of a rush getting ready this morning. Um, but I, I mean, I like it. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I love it yet. I kind of like some of my other ones a little more. So I'm going to keep trying this out and see if I, if it dries out a little bit maybe and if I like it a little more. Um, so I got that from Benefit. And then I have been wanting to try this so bad. The Hula, um, I guess bronzer. Yeah, bronzer. And it is, everybody should know, it's this beautiful bronzy color. And the lady at Ulta did um, Anastasia of Beverly Hills contour palette on me. I told her I wanted it very subtle. I didn't want like chiseled contour. So I told her I wanted it very subtle. And she like, I mean, it was like, 
a stripe. It was dark and it was it was too much for me. Um, so I had to rub it out afterwards whenever she wasn't around me. Shh. Um, whenever she wasn't around me because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. But I got this and I'm using this as kind of a contour bronzer. And I did it um, today and I think I tried it yesterday. And I really like it. Um, I'm slowly starting to build up doing it a little more defined. But right now I'm just kind of doing it really subtle. But I found out how to finally get that that thing, I have to like twist my lips all the way over to the side to find that where my that whole little spot is right there. So it's very, it was very hard for me. Okay, people, I'm sorry, I'm a newbie at this, and I probably sounds really stupid, but it was very hard for me to find that place to contour. Um, but I really like this, I like this a lot. So I got this and this, which got me the free gift of this little bag. It says, Laughter is the best cosmetic, and it's a really cute little bag. It's got it's got this, and all this can remind me of is uh, when my friends made me go watch Fifty Shades of Grey with them, and I laughed hysterically throughout that whole movie and made very obscene comments the entire time. And this reminds me of the floggers that they use. <laughs> and it's terrible, but that's all I can think of when I see this. So I really don't like the tassel thing. What, baby? Yeah. It does have lips. Oh, it has it on both sides. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so what came in here was the the professional which I wasn't really fond of this at first or um, after a while of using it and I gave my other one that I had bought the ten dollar one to a friend but I think I'm gonna try it again and see how it works with my new foundations and then I don't know if these were supposed to come with it or not but they gave them to me um, it's the total moisture facial cream which I tried this at night but I can't tell if it's clogging up my pores or not I have like ginormous pores and I break out really easily so I don't know if the cold cream thing was too much for my face or not. I might give that to a friend. And then the It's Potent Eye Cream, which I really like and I'm going to try to use. I've been using the um, Oil Volé Re uh, Regenerous, Lumin Regenerous Luminous Dark Circle Correcting Eye Sw Hydro Swirl. It's <laughs> a mouthful. Um, and then, I don't know, this has kind of a light reflecting stuff in it that's kind of throwing me off. I don't like it that much um, here lately. But I've been trying this, Addy. Get down. And I'm going to try to start using this um, every night and see if it'll help with my dark circles because they're horrible. So I got all three of those as the freebie gift with the vlogging bag. Okay, and then I got um, I, was, I got the Lacombe Eyelash Curler. Um, whoa. I just, I just raved about the e.l.f. Eyelash Curler and I really, really liked it. But I, can't, um, I found out that if you push... Let me use this one because I don't like this one. If you close it really tight, it like the top part cuts into this, the rubber piece. And then whenever you try to curl your eyelashes, it sticks in there really bad. And so I, and then I even changed the little rubber piece with the actual one that came with it, but then it did it again. I don't know what in the world I was doing to make it do that. Now I'm scared to do that with these. Um, but I got the Lacombe one. And I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, I still kind of liked the elf one better if the daggum thing didn't stab into the um, rubber piece and, you know, kind of put a slice through it. Um, I wish that was a this better dress, quality. This dress is a lot. Yes, it does. Um, I wish it was a better quality because I liked that elf. It felt like it curled my eyelashes a little bit more. My eyelashes don't seem to want to hold a curl. It's driving me freaking nuts, which is why I got this and why I got the roller lash thinking that my eyelashes would hold a curl better, but it's just not. Um, is that all I got? Oh, and then I was at the checkout lane and when it was like, I was like 160 or 170 something. And I was like, Ooh, well I can still get to 200. So I grabbed this because I really wanted to try it. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And, um, I'm trying to figure out the whole highlight thing. Whoa, that just totally squirted out way too much. But, um, this was in those little towers by the checkout. So you can see, it is really, really, really pretty. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to wear highlighter. Um, it, it's I'm still new to all of that, and I don't know exactly hi, how mommy. to. Hi, baby. I don't exactly know how to do all of that yet, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, so that's all the the high end stuff I got, and then okay, shh. I got the NYX HD Finishing Powder. No, ma'am. And banana because everybody and their mama talks about this um, I know that Kathleen lights really likes it a lot and so I got it to try it out and I usually use the elf under eye um, so I've been trying this one this week and I mean I like it, it it's really nice um, I just don't 
I don't quite know if I understand the whole craze about it yet. Um, I really like it. I'm going to continue to use it and see what I think about it more. I see you, sweet girl. Um, see what I think about it more as I use it. I got the, Maybelline was doing the buy one, get one half off, and I have been dying to get this Instant Age Rewind um, concealer that everybody talks about. And I got mine in Neutralizer. Um, I think I might go back and get it in the brightening, um, and then maybe get one in light. I don't know. This one, it just doesn't seem to, I don't know. I have extremely dark circles under my eyes, and then the skin is really, like, old-looking and texturized, which is why I need to start, I need to find an eye cream that's amazing. Um... And so, I mean, this doesn't, it do, it's not, ooh, wow. I'm going to keep, I guess I'm going to keep trying to use it and see if I can, I don't know, figure out how to use it right or something. I don't know if I'm just using it wrong. Um, but then I got the Master Prime Primer and Base. I got it in the Blur and Smooth. And I like it, but then I don't know if it's just not mixing well with my foundation or what. Tooter pooter, get out of there. I don't know if it's not mixing well with my foundation or what, but I don't, I don't know. I'm going to keep trying to use this and see how I like it. Um... And then I also got the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. And then, of course, all of my stuff is in nudes and browns and natu or, uh, neutrals. And then I got this white eyeliner um, to try to do the, the uh, bottom tight lining. And I mean... I really wanted to find a nude one, but I couldn't find a nude one, and that's just, I don't know if you can really see that. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm, I probably just shouldn't have even bothered to get this. You're so silly. I don't know if I just shouldn't have even bothered with it, um, but, you know, I was there, so I got it. I couldn't help myself. Um, that is all that I got from Ulta. And then I did, on just a side note, because um, I'm going to do another one that's a drugstore haul of some stuff I got at, um, in Texas, they have HEBs, and I got some stuff there, and then, okay, and then I got a, um, a couple of other things, but this just came in the other day, um, it's the Kathleen Lights Miami Fever that she did a collaboration with Ofra, and this is by far the creamiest texture ever. It is unbelievably creamy. I have never put anything on that creamy before. I tried to put it on the other night, and I need to exfoliate my lips really bad to be able to wear a mattifying kind of lipstick like that. Um, but I, the color is beautiful. I love the color on my lips. Um, it's really, really pretty. I did a tweet on this, um, tagging her in it and stuff, and so I was really excited that I got it. Um, I also ordered the Manny's um, collab with... Gerard Cosmetics, and it's the Serenity. He's wearing it in almost all of his videos, and they're so it's such a beautiful color. And so I went ahead and I ordered that too, and that's supposed to be here on Monday. And I got um, BH Cosmetics. I got a set of brushes um, for thirty dollars, I think. And then um, it came with the free surprise eye palettes. So I'll see what that is. That should be coming in next week, also. Um, and I think that that's all that I've ordered. But I did get a few things from the drugstore that I will do um, a little haul review on also. Um, but I guess just as I start using this stuff, I'll let you know more and more about um, what I think about it and everything. And you're so silly. Okay, so I guess we're going to leave this. We're going to get off here. Did I just get that lipstick on your arm? No. All right, so say, say love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. You're so silly.